Hello, this is Mavi. Today I want to show you how the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter looks and feels on my skin. I actually have the two versions, so is that something that you're interested? Keep on watching. All right, as you might know, Charlotte Tilbury came out with these new highlighters from the line Pillow Talk. She came out with two versions. So one of them she called Romance Light to the more light to medium skin tone. So this one, as you can see, it's very pinkish, it has a little bit of rosiness there. It's pretty lighter comparing to this one. She call it Dream Light to the more medium to dark skin tones. Here we see more goldiness, we see more warmth. If you put them side by side, you can tell this is more like warmish and this is more cool tone. What I wanted to do is because I'm medium, so basically I can use both of them because this is for light medium and this is for medium to dark. I want to show you how it looks on my skin. My question always is like, which one should I buy, right? Or which one is going to look better on my medium skin tone? We also have different types of undertones. And just to give you a little bit of background, my undertone tends to be neutral. So I could easily go for cool tones or warm tones. So at the end, I think it's going to be a matter of preference. But I still want you to see how they both look on my skin because it's gonna give you some idea of what you're looking for. Also, I wanna let you know that I obviously did my makeup already but I haven't used any blush because I don't want to alter the real color of the highlighters my bronzer is the matte formula so it really doesn't have any glow or satin finish because I want to also show you how these highlighters give you the glow we're going to start with Roman's light what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to swirl everything like that. I mean, you can definitely choose each color. It allows you to do that. But I want to see how everything looks first together. And I'm going to be looking here because I have a mirror by the way, so... Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that it's very subtle, but I think it's going to be buildable. So let's do another swirl. Now I can see it more. Let me add a little bit here so we can compare. I'm definitely seeing a little bit more texture, but it's giving me a very nice sheen. It's very natural. I mean, if you were expecting this highlighter to be super beaming, glass skin look, it, I don't think it is. It's definitely giving me a nice glow, but I don't think it's over the top. Now that I see more in the light, because it's a cool tone, it's giving me a little bit of grayish around this area. I think there is a purplish lila color in there. I don't know if you can see it. Talking about this one over here, it's a little bit lila. So we are going to do now Dream Light. And again, this is more warm, more copperish, very pretty. So let's see. Again, the same brush, but this is a new one. I'm gonna swirl. I like to do that and then just go like this. Ooh! Do you see that? Wow! This one is really pretty and pigmented. And I guess it makes sense because you want this to be shown on your skin, right? If you're darker skin tones. This kind of acted like a blush to me. I'm not wearing any blush right now. And this gave me a beautiful, beautiful shade. Let's apply one more layer like we did in the other. 
And yeah, this, this is so pretty. It seems like I have flash or something. I'm gonna bring it right here. This highlighter, I feel like it's more on the natural side. I had to apply two layers for you to see the glow. Pigmentation wise, it's super rich. And again, when you're using highlighters, you're expected to see more texture. So it's not as smoothing, but it's not bad. You know what it reminds me a little bit? I don't know if you got the latest face palette from her. It's the Nude Gasm palette. I don't know, but it's giving me this blush vibes because this blush tends to be glowy. And actually we're gonna be swatching just so we can compare them. So swatching each color on my arm. And I already started with the most, with the lightest color, which is this one over here. It's kind of like a white color, which is great, I think, for your inner eye. I believe she was using also these highlighters for the eyes. So if you wanna emphasize something on your eyes, I think this color, the white one, is great. Now that I'm swatching the second color, which is kind of like the peachy one, it's very beautiful as well. I'm gonna be swatching the more rosy one, which is this one over here. Short and boom. Yeah, it's a little bit more pink. And I think this is the one that we can see more on my cheeks. I'm going to be doing this kind of like cool tone, pink or going to lila color. It's pretty, but maybe this is the one who's giving me the ashy look. There you go. Wow, it's really pretty. And finally, I'm going to be swirling all over in one finger. Yep. This is all together. Then this is the lightest color. This is the peachy one. This is the more rosy one. And this is the lila. All right, so I'm gonna be starting with this gold color right here. Then I'm gonna be doing the more, what is it called, more rosy. As you can see, this one is more rosy. And I'm going to be doing it right here. Oh, wow, that's pretty. And you see, that's kind of like, like a blush. Now I'm gonna be doing this more copperish, orangey color. This can be used for eyeshadows as well. And finally, I'm going to be doing this kind of like beige, light pink color. And I'm gonna switch it right here. Look at those colors. Those are very pretty colors. Now I'm going to be doing the whole swirl. Here, so you can see. See here, everything mix. Then here is a more gold color, then the kind of rosy. Then this one will be the copperish one. And this one will be kind of like a beige new color. But it's really pretty. Look at this. If we put them side by side, you can easily see the Roman's light. It's going to be a little bit more cool tone. And the dream light, it's more warm tones. Remember I told you the dream light, which is this one. Uh, on my cheek, it kind of remind me of the blush from the Nude Gasm palette. So I have it right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch it right next to the mix and see if it looks similar. I'm gonna swatch it right here. And yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much the same. They're very similar. I do have this palette. This peach or pink one, I think it's a little bit more cool tone, but I'm gonna swatch it right next to this one. This highlighter, it's way more cool tone. 
and it's actually more creamy than the highlighter from Pillow Talk. So it's not a dupe. Now I have this Film Star Bronze and Glow and I have the medium dark version and this coverage color kind of remind me of the highlighter from this palette so I'm going to be swatching it just to see if they kind of similar and mm, I don't know I mean they're they're similar but not really the finish of the multi glow it's a little bit more glowy I think than this one uh, from the light to medium version from the same palette I want to swatch this one and put it right next to the first one that I swatched as you can see they're completely different it's a little bit more pink, more pinkish I think and it's more cool tone than this one so, yeah the only similarity that I found was the nude gas on palette I know here it looks different but when you mix all these colors together you pretty much end up with the same color and if you're a medium skin tone like me this is going to act more like a blush rather than a highlighter so it's going to give you that glowy blush over here we have more cool tones and so i thought about this palette this one over here the bar of gold palette and i thought about this color right now we know that this formula is a little bit more beaming than the Pillow Talk Multi Glow, but I wanted to swatch it so you can see. You see, the bar of gold is more beaming and it's more rosy, and the other one is more pink, like a baby pink. The Film Star Glow, the light to medium version. Let me swatch this one, and then as you can see, it's a completely different formula. And yeah, no, I don't see anything similar. Like, I'm gonna swatch it here next to the lightest color, and nope, definitely not. This is a little bit more gold. So, I wanna gather my thoughts, and first, I want to say that I appreciate that Charlotte Tilbury came out with two versions. I think it is very important to have options, especially because not everyone has the same skin tone. Do I think it could have been nicer if we got a third version of this? Yes, probably. Why? Because I feel like the medium to dark version was more like a blush rather than a highlighter. I'm sorry, my camera was like getting so hot so I had to stop. But anyway, so now that I have some time to kind of finish my makeup and look myself in the mirror more closely i noticed that the robin's light which is the light to medium version this one over here it kind of is leaving me like a white cast also when i was reapplying a little bit of bronzer couldn't help but to notice that it looks a little bit more grayish from my experience i think that the robin's light if you're in my skin tone and you tend to be more on the warmer side or neutral even, I think this might be ashy on your skin. I feel this one doesn't really blend on my skin. I feel like it sits on my skin. And you can tell that I have like a highlighter or some type of makeup on top. But maybe if you're medium cool tone, it might work for you. Now, on this one over here, obviously this one out of the two was my favorite one. And I think it's due to the warm undertones that these colors have. Also, because it was kind of like a two-in-one product. But also, it's a little bit of a bummer knowing that the finish that I get with this one is pretty much like the finish that I get with the blush from the Nude Gasm palette. So, if you or my skin tone and we're thinking about getting the dream light and if you already have the new gas and palette then you probably don't need it but overall I think the formula of both palettes are beautiful I like that they're very user friendly and I like that you can build them I love the packaging and again you can never go wrong with shallow Tilbury because usually her formulas are top-notch and this is why it costs
cost that much. <laughs> so yeah, I hope I help you to choose whether if you need these highlighters, whether if you need both of them or if you only need one of them. If you were curious about this makeup, I'm going to leave all the details on the description box. I hope I really help you to make a decision which is the goal of this video and And as always, I want to thank you for watching this video. I also wanted to remind you to subscribe to this channel and to give it a like to this video. And hopefully you can share it with someone that you love so you can help me to create more content in the future. And I will see you until the next one. Bye-bye.